Okay. So up here we have our uh, definition that were pulled from a dictionary. Some dictionaries will have different definitions, so if it's slightly different, it's not a big deal. There's lots of different dictionaries out there, so they all have slightly different ways of explaining what a word can be. So here we have chronological, describes a series of events in the order they happen, seen often in biographies. Okay, so if you'll see, if you read a biography, Typically, it's in chronological order. First, they were born, then they were a kid, then they were an adult. You know, it just kind of goes through the, the steps of events that that person's life played out, typically. We have talked about how certain biographies don't do that, right? Or the biography stops after their big crescendo, right? Their big event that happened, and then it was stopped. It doesn't go on to, like, how they die, stuff like that. So some biographies are act in certain ways, or they skip the part where they're born and they go straight into when they're a kid, that sort of thing. So, but typically they are in chronological order. So for example, an author tells the story of Leif Erikson and Eric the Red in the order that it happened. Eric and Leif left Iceland in 982. They arrived in a new land. Then they built a colony. So you can see the steps of events. Okay, temporal describes a sequence in which something always or usually occurs, such as the steps in a process, seen often in expository nonfiction texts, okay? So an example would be step one, he chooses strips of wood. Step two, he examines each strip. Step three, he sands the strips down. So you can almost think of this like uh, a manual, right? Or a how-to or something of that nature. It can also be something that you would see like maybe in a math book, all right? Step one, do this, step two, do this. So it can be seen in different types of expository nonfiction. Sequence means the following of one thing after another. This is probably the most broad, right? It kind of fits into both of these because it's simply saying one thing happens first, another thing happens after that. That's doing things in sequence. If I'm doing things in sequence, I'm doing one thing first, then the next thing, then the next thing like that. So thinking about like getting ready for your next class, you probably each have a different sequence of how you do things. First thing I do is I put away my books from the last class, then I like to grab my pencils, or I like to grab this first, and then I grab this, and then I grab this, and then I go into the class and sit down. So you have a sequence of things that you do. Okay. All right. So when we're talking about these particular words, there's signal words that go with them. So when you're writing, or an author is writing, you can kind of cue into, oh, they're talking about chronological order, or sequence, or temporal. So here are some signal words that chronological would have. Then, after, first, a few years later, Anything that talks about a specific amount of time passing or sequence of events in order that they happen. First, my brother went outside, then um, he built a snowman, and after that, I destroyed him. So something like that, you know, would be a chronological order of events, okay? Temporal, step one, two, three, four, five, you know, how many okay. steps there are. First they, next, the herd first stalked a trip. I'm not sure why it's herd, but okay. Uh, the herd of cows first stalked a tray. Uh, it, it then attacks, apparently. So I'm not sure, it shouldn't probably say herd, it probably should say something more predatory. Herd, typically, I think of like a herd of cows. Or a herd of, you know. I don't see, I don't think of anything that's like, predatory that says herd, but um, okay. Anyway, so these would be some words that you could, when you're reading, if you see these words come up, you can then cue in your head, oh, this is a signal that chronological order is about to happen, or temporal, temporal order is about to happen, all right? Yes, Marcos. Another way to explain chronological order is to spell 
Stop the video real quick and then we can go over questions. Before we start the video tonight, I 